welcome to the bathtub where tonight on WOSN we've got a non-conference crosstown shootout as the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds have made this short trip to face the Bath Wildcats. I'm Garrett C. White, joined alongside Mark Bagley. We've got all the action for you here on a Tuesday night special between a couple of squads who played 18 days ago. Mark, you know each other pretty well. Yeah, very much so. Early this season. Glad to see you again, Garrett. Welcome back. Uh, we're finishing up 2023 with the non-league game on a Tuesday night and excited to be here tonight. And it's going to be interesting to see what adjustments Bath makes and what LCC does with, with their uh, deep squad and, and, and lots of experience coming back. Yeah, the season opener at the tip-off classic. LCC won 53-31 to over the Bath Wildcats. LCC 3-0 coming into tonight while Bath looking for that first win at 0-4 as Kirk Lozier's in his first year leading the program, looking for that first win. Of course, LCC head coach Sean Powell come, came to LCC after coaching at Bath for a couple of seasons after winning a state championship at Botkins. Mark, can you take a look at the keys to the game tonight? First for LCC, what are the big the big things the T-Birds need to focus on to, to leave here with a victory? They want to start the game off a lot of pressure on a Tuesday night. It's on the road. Try to get them to play the game fast when they want to. I think it's important for them, too, to rebound and run, to get out and go and make that tempo. And then finally, it's that mental war. 18 days ago, they blew out Bath, and now they're coming back to play them again. Uh, and I'm sure Bath will make some adjustments to try to be competitive tonight. And when you take a look at the Wildcats, looking for that first win, what do they have to do tonight to, to reverse the course that they had here in the season opener? Well, live ball versus dead ball turnovers will be huge tonight. They have to be dead ball for them to have a chance. Live ball means layups, means more pressing, more, means the game's going faster. They've got to rebound the backside more. When, when the shot goes up, they can't give LCC multiple shots. And then try to find a way to get easy baskets. How that is, by being patient offensively, offensive rebounds, but find a way to score some easy baskets tonight. So those are the keys to the game tonight. We are in the center circle, ready for tip-off. Starters for LCC will introduce you here after the tip-off is won by the T-Birds. Billy Burke in the center circle wins the tip-off. He wears number 14, Angelo Collins, number 23. Number zero is Jordan Pretty. Number four is Matthew Quatman. And number two is Carson Parker as the first pass down low, kicked out of bounds by the Wildcats, who start Trev Crawford wearing number two, Xavier Tickle, number 12, Jackson Foster, number 13, Zach Welsh, number 14, and Brennan Ryan wears number 21. It's the first shot, a three ball up and good from Jordan Pretty, the 6'2 sophomore. Buries one from the right wing to put them on the Charles River scoreboard. And both teams go on a man-to-man -man here to start with. A free opportunity from Bath with an answer. As Logan Markley has a triple to his credit. A couple of sophomores dueling here in the early stages of this first quarter. Collins in the near corner, gets a screen, works to the high post, hands off to Pretty. He'll rise and fire from the left elbow. Drop another one quickly. Jordan Pretty with five points. And what a nice addition for LCC. He hadn't hit the rim on two shots. And it looked really good early. Still under a minute gone here in this first quarter. Working on the far side is Trev Crawford. Top of the key, Markley. Throws to the near side. Zach Welsh. Surveys nearly picked off by Pretty. A triple try from Foster's good. We got some sharp shooters here in the first minute 15. Yeah, and Foster's averaged 14 points a game the early season, and, and he's a key for Bath tonight. They start out two for two. A triple try. Parker off the back or off the back iron. Hits the guide wire on top of the net. And that's always been an issue at the tub. The guide wire hits lots of shots. I think we'll see some of those tonight, Garrett. So you see that less than a minute and a half into tonight's action. It's Bath will work to the near side. Welsh throws to Foster. Top of the key to Brennan Ryan. Wildcats patient offensively. Straight away to Crawford. Works to the free throw line. Thought about the backdoor pass. Instead, we'll give back to Ryan. And they'll work it around the perimeter with a one-point lead on the Charles River scoreboard. And this is what Bath needs to do, Garrett. Make the game slow. Be patient offensively. Try to find easy shots. They have been more than patient here on this possession as they get to the mid post, chuck to the far corner, give it right back to Crawford. He'll survey, put it on the deck. Down Main Street, blocked from behind by Parker. 
He'll throw to the near side. Pretty off the window, and he's got all seven of LCC's points here in this first quarter. Crawford on the right wing will bounce to the top of the key. Markley gives off to Welch. He'll stop at the left elbow. Looked at the rim for just a moment. And now Markley the drive, threw it off the front of the iron, but the first foul for either side. Assessed to LCC. Angelo Collins picks up his first. And that sends Markley to the line. Nope, now they'll say <laughs> it is a spot inbound underneath the basket to the right. Get a couple of changes for the first time. Damar Foster will sob in for LCC, as will Willie Foster in exchange for Matthew Quatman and Billy Burke. And LCC gets, is really deep, and they get quicker with that sob. And we'll see if they start pressing a little bit and, and double teaming things. Markley straight away, now works to the left, spins in the high post, fires up a shot off the back iron, nearly stripped the rebound away from LCC. It goes out of bounds off of Markley and will remain with the T-Birds as Willie Foster tried to come down with the rebound. He immediately pressured as he did. So the T-Birds slowly walked the ball across the timeline, working to that far sideline. Angle to the left elbow. Foster, baseline drive. He's cut off and a foul. No, he stepped on the end line. And you can see Willie Foster is very quick. Yes, sir. And just came in the game and had a baseline drive went out of bounds. So just a bit too far. And Bath has possession. Trailing by one. Still in the early stages here of quarter number one. Foster. Bounces into the far corner. We get a timeout called by Bath. We'll step aside as well. 7-6 on the Charles River scoreboard early here in the first quarter on WOSN. Out of the Metzger Financial Services timeouts. Metzger Financial Services helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Wildcats out of the timeout working on the right side. Give to Foster at the free throw line. Back to the basket. Triple team. Lost possession of it. Comes to the near side. And it goes out of bounds off of the T-Birds and will remain with Bath. LCC did some different things in their defense, but I can't tell if it was a 2-3 or maybe even a box and one. Is that what the early timeout was there for, uh, for Bath, was to talk about the way they're being defended so far here in this first quarter? Yeah, I think so. It looks like a 2-3 match right now. Ryan. But this is exactly what Bath wants. Yeah, they want the game to be slow and lots of uh, patience to get the shot they want. The scores in the 40s, it's in a favor bath. Foster, right in the center circle. Down low to Ryan. Reverses to the far corner. Triple try from Markley, left it short. Picked up by LCC. They'll push quickly. Willie Foster, baseline drive. Lost possession. Nope, he stepped on the end line again. And that's what happens with young kids sometimes. He wants to come in the game and make an immediate impact. Mm -hmm. And he's really quick, and he's had two drives that are kind of out of control right now. <laughs> Trying that far side and stepped on the end line. So a couple of turnovers here for the T-Birds who have been sitting at seven for a while. We've been on this 7-6 score a while on the Charles River scoreboard. It's a ball on the left wing. Markley to the near side. Crawford holding. Trying to work to the left. Cut off by Foster. In the post, lost possession of it. Taken away by Pretty. Racing up the far side. Euros in the lane, throws it off the glass, and Jordan Pretty's got all nine of LCC's points here in this first quarter. And that was a really outstanding move by Pretty. He's shown a lot here early on for, for both of us. In the near corner, Wildcats looking to get something going, working offensively. Markley thought about the deep three. Hands off to Jesco. Throws to the left wing. Jackson Foster left the three a little short. Rebound ripped down by Foster. Lobs 
and Willie Foster missed the jam on the alley-oop. Coming back the other way, back. Jackson Foster for three off the back iron. Willie Foster the rebound. In this tempo, as LCC's right now, despite the missed dunk. Burke near corner, DeMar Foster three. Rimmed around and out. Ripped down by Markley. And there has been a markedly different change in, in the pace here in the last minute or so of this first quarter. Jackson Foster picks up the dribble. Hands off. Jesco backs back out to the high right point with two minutes to go on the first quarter, in the first quarter on the Charles River scoreboard. Markley near side baseline. Throws back straight away to Foster. He'll try to kick it in that far corner. Triple try on the way. Too strong. Lands in the hands of Pretty. He wants to race straight to the window. Off the glass. Make it 11 for Pretty in the quarter. He showed us everything so far. Layups, drives, threes, pull-up jump shots. He's really done everything for LCC in this first quarter. Less than 90 seconds to go in this opening period, opening quarter. Working straight away, Eli Jesko. Pumped for just a moment. Kicks in the near side to Jackson Foster with his back to the basket. Works to the free throw line, hands off. Comes to the near side. Layup missed by Crawford. The putback is up and in for Brennan Ryan. His first basket. Pretty feeling it. My goodness. 14 first quarter points for Jordan Pretty has extended the lead to six. And what he hasn't done, Garrett, is force anything. And the game is really slow for him, you can tell. And he's he's just taken over things here in the first quarter. I think, is he six for six? Is the pocket picked? Trying to keep it in play is DeMar Foster. He'll cross over, baseline, kick in the far corner to Willie Foster for three. The first non-pretty player for LCC to score grows the lead to nine. And, and that's that layup turnover, Garrett. We talked about it. It created an open three three-point shot. Jesco tries to work down low to the near block. Poked out of bounds by Pretty. And we'll get a whole host of changes here in the final moments of this first quarter. And the Foster brothers really changed the defensive intensity for LCC when they came in. You can tell that. And Willie Foster will take a seat on the bench for just a brief moment. Eight seconds to go in the quarter. Ball inbounded into the backcourt. Markley tracks it down with five across the timeline. Works to the far side. Spinorama can't get it to go, and that will do it for the first quarter. LCC a barrage in the waning moments. Gives them a 17-8 lead on the Charles River scoreboard. Second quarter action coming up when we return here on WLSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. They're hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. The second quarter starts with that Charles River scoreboard, reading 17-8. Bath trying to change that, kicking to the far corner. Three on the way, left it just a little bit short. Billy Burke the rebound for the T-Birds. Damar Foster straight away gets a screen from Collins. He'll rise and fire off the back iron. Rebound ripped down by Bath. As Trev Crawford got it, had his pocket picked by Foster, and he'll pick up the second foul of the evening by LCC. So he's got one foul. Of course, the new foul rules don't get one and one in the half. Get it in the quarter. Get five fouls in the quarter. That's weird to say. We'll never see one and ones again. It's always going to be a two-shot foul once we yeah, get to five. Wildcats work down low as Foster tried the turnaround hook. Couldn't get it. Working to the near side. Thrown to the right wing. As Mosley 
thought about the step back. Instead, kicks to the near side to Crawford. Straight away, Foster nearly had it taken away from him before it got there as Quatman called for the foul. His first. It will be weird for you know, kids to grow up and never know what a one and one is. Yeah, it's, it's a different kind of pressure <laughs> when you know you have two there. And that first one, you know, you can miss it to get another yep. one. That, that changes things just a little bit. It is. Foster with his back to the basket on the left wing will now work to the right elbow. Jump stops, hands off. Three from Crawford, no. Rebound to Burke. He hits the deck. And a foul committed by Zach Welsh. The six-foot sophomore's first. So LCC, the length of the floor here. And we'll see how long Pretty sits here to start the second quarter. He's got about a minute and a half blow, and I'm sure there'll be a line change coming in here shortly. Yeah, when you have that depth, you really have a lot more flexibility with how you want to operate that lineup, don't you? You do. Bass staying the man-to-man -man defense, it appears. Damar Foster throws to the right side. On the deck, Quatman gives it right back. Foster crosses over at the left wing. Well, back, back out. 6.15 to go here in the second quarter. Collins, one-on-one -on -one with Foster in the high post. Rises, fires, hits. First bucket of the night for Angelo Collins. As Jackson Foster holds on the right side for Bath. Back to straightaway Ryan. Holding and surveying, gives back to Foster. Crosses over, Quatman on the drive, stops. And then he traveled, he did. And LCC has been very solid. They're just playing half-court man-to-man defense. They're trying to pressure. They had great help there, created a turnover. Uh, Bath hasn't had many turnovers um, tonight. They've done a good job there, but they're having a hard time getting to the basket and making open shots as well from three. Parker will slowly walk the ball across the timeline. Get it right back. He'll rise and fire. Long two, left it short. Loose rebound scooped up by the Wildcats. Thought about running for just a moment as Mosley will throw back to Markley straight away. Back to Mosley. Works to the free throw line. Back to the basket. Mosley. Pump fakes on the right wing three. Free throw line. He will rise and fire. A little too much mustard on it. Rebound ripped down by Foster. He'll go straight to the bucket. Up and in. Willie Foster's got five first half points. A Metzger Financial Services timeout called by Bath will step aside as well. 5.01 to go here in the second quarter. LCC with a 21-8 lead over Bath here on WOSN. Still looking for our first Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throws of the night. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wabach, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Out of the Metzger Financial Services timeout, Bath. Josiah Clark holding the ball in the game for the first time. Working it around the perimeter. Markley had his shot affected. Goes out of bounds off the T-Birds. It will stay with Bath. And just been a, a bit of an offensive struggle for Bath here in the late stages of the first and the early stages of the second. Yeah, they hit those quick uh, threes to start the game, and Roy has gone cold since that time. They're one for their last ten. And so it's really a struggle for them to get, get going offensively. Foster works to the near side, directing traffic. Throws back between the circles to the left side. Clark on the deck. Gives back to Jackson Foster straight away, guarded by Pretty. In the far corner. Ryan holds at the left elbow. Survey gives up to Clark. He'll drive. His pass intercepted. Parker lobs to Foster. His second missed dunk of the evening. Gives back the other way to Jackson Foster. In the lane, stripped. And a foul committed. And we'll get our first least famous recipe chicken free throws of the evening. And that's a play where you just hope you drive the elbow, throw a bounce pass, and make a layup. It, they've tried that a couple times tonight, and, and it may work every now and then, but 
fundamentally, it's probably a better option right. to get just two points. Take, take your points. As Foster steps to the line, a 76% free throw shooter, nearly 77%. Misses the front end. And Bass trying anything they can just to hang around right now. They're, they're, they're a little bit on the ropes. They're trying to run some different offenses, some open posts, which we see a lot in high school basketball now. A little bit of ball stream, but they're just struggling to find any kind of rhythm. Second least famous recipe free throw attempt for Foster, who made the early three. Now give him four. And a lot of times that's what it takes, is a free throw or a layup or something to kind of break that ice. Pretty trash baseline. Lays it off the window. His first points of the quarter give him 16 but off the 23. It's really tough when Pretty's that efficient. He's <laughs> really good. On the right block. Markley for three. No. Rebound ripped down by Willie Foster. He'll throw up the far side. Pretty rises, fires, feeling it. Pretty's got 18, and it just feels like every time it leaves his hand, it's going in. There's not too many guys that can plant that foot and pull up from that distance and be that smooth. And he's one of them. He's been really good. Dribbled the ball on the timeline. Did Zach Welsh. And turnover by Bath. Gives LCC the basketball. 25-9 the score on the Charles River scoreboard. 3.25 to go here in the second quarter. As DeMar Foster slowly walks the ball across the timeline, right of the center circle. Thought about the right wing three, crosses over, throws it off the window, and DeMar Foster's got his first bucket. And he really got him going defensively, and that was a really good move offense. But they have shot the lights out tonight. Crawford, near corner, guarded by Foster. Gets down low to Clark, picks up the dribble in the lane, throws out to Welsh. Thought about the three. Instead, tries to lob, taken away by Pretty. It's a race to the bucket the other way. He'll lay it off the glass. Give Jordan Pretty an even 20 first half points with still 2.45 to go here in the second quarter. Clark double teamed along the near side. Picks up the dribble, gets rid of it. Into the far corner. Three on the way, up and good for Welsh. His first basket. Stops the bleeding a little bit for the Wildcats. Willie Foster tries to start it again and does. Eight first half points for Willie Foster. And Bath has had to work so hard for everything, and then LCC comes down and it gets right back and hits a three. That's, that's just tough to take mentally. You get a foul committed by LCC. And you're right when you get the first bucket in a long time to get you going just a little bit. Second foul committed by DeMar Foster, by the way. Get that first bucket in a while, and then LCC just comes back nonchalantly, buries one to make it <laughs> negate any progress you just made. And Bath needs to be aggressive in the basket. They, they've got four team fouls on LCC. That's two shots. Chesco, left elbow, miscommunication, and another turnover by the Wildcats. 32-12 to score. And down here, Bath needs to be very aggressive. They've only got one team foul, so they they have to do anything they can to, to keep them away from the basket. That's easier said than done, because LCC is so quick and athletic. Damar Foster, free throw line, rises, fires, left it just short. Burke battling for the rebound, couldn't secure it. It's taken away by Zach Welsh of Bath. With 90 seconds to go, throws to the near side. Crawford. Another miscommunication and another turnover. Find the blue and gold. That's seven turnovers now for Bath. And they did a really good job the first quarter of taking care of the basketball. And now there's been a lot of uh, just miscommunication. And, and that happens when you're down 20 points. It's frustration and, and people start getting tired mm -hmm. and, and those kind of things as well. 120 to go on the Charles River scoreboard is Burke. Throws to the near side pretty. Damar Foster, left block, back to Pretty. Thought about the heat check. Instead, triple team. He's stripped, out of bounds, and it will stay with the T-Birds. You know, watching him for the first time tonight, his change of speed and shiftiness is really impressive. He has a way to get around people that, that really makes people rise up out of their stands, and he, he just blows by them then. Parker, the handoff to Pretty. Pump fakes on a right wing three, throws to the near side. Quatman down low to Burke. 
Back to the basket, double team. Gets that, rid of it. To the far corner, Parker for three. No, swirled out on him. Rebound, ripped down by Mosley. Stops at the volleyball line, throws into the post, gets it right back. Less than a minute remaining here in this first half, 32-12. LCC the lead, bat the basketball. Bounce to the near side. Welsh nearly had it ripped away by Quatman. We get a couple of changes as Parker Judy comes on for the first time. Angelo Collins will return to the lineup. 42 seconds remaining on the Charles River scoreboard here in the first half. Inbound to Mosley. Tightly guarded by Namar Foster. Near side, Clark. Throws to the far side. Drive by Jesko. And then a foul committed by Pretty. His first. And Bath will shoot two Lee's famous recipe free throws. It's the second foul committed by Pretty, I beg your pardon. Yeah, even players are a little confused by this. It's, it's the fifth foul. Should be two shots, and Bass ready to take the bottom out. <laughs> it's a little bit of a change. It is. And, and here's where I think you need to be aggressive to change the rules for Bath. You can foul a little bit here to make it tougher on LCC to finish. First Lee's famous recipe free throw pops out on Jesco. Yeah, really, I mean, you're right that if Bath wants to foul the inbound or <laughs> foul whoever catches the inbound, you get the basketball back right away because they're going to shoot two free throws as the second one does the same thing. And when you're struggling, you've got to make free throws, and Bath's one for four. It's just another thing that's hurt them tonight. Foster stands right at the center circle watching the numbers tick off the Charles River scoreboard. Gives to Collins. Foster will take it right back with ten. So here's where you foul. So that take the ball to bounce against not one and one. Mm -hmm. It's not two shots. It's only one team foul. Damar Foster has to let it fly. And that's about the way the first half went for LCC. A deep three for the T-Birds at the gun. That makes it 35, 12, and 18. It's a four quarter for the LCC T-Birds. We have played one half of basketball and Things have gone incredibly well for Lima Central Catholic, and they take that 35 to 12 lead into the halftime break. We'll step aside, come back with third quarter action for you. Coming up on WLSN. Third quarter moments away from getting underway. LCC with a 35 to 12 advantage over Bath here at the halftime break. And Mark, when you take a look at some of the halftime numbers, it really reinforces that things went pretty well for LCC there in that first half. Yeah, if you look at the stats, just shooting wise, they were 10 of 14 from two, 71%, five of 10, including that near half quarter, for 50% overall. 15 to 24, 63%. So you get 60, <laughs> how many, probably not many times in the history of basketball you shoot that well and things go poorly for you. <laughs> I mean, you know, that, that's pretty indicative of how things went on the Charles River scoreboard. But then for Bath, I, we, we figured out Bath had 15 shots compared to LCC had 15 makes. Yes, and they were one of six from two. That, and the height and length bothered them inside 17%. Three of nine, hit their first two threes. Three of nine for 33%, uh, 27%. That, that tells the story right there. LCC now working to the right as Parker picks up the dribble in the near corner. Guarded by Jackson Foster is Jordan Pretty. Works straight away. 20 first half points for Pretty. And coming out of the third quarter, they have an intent to get the ball inside. Parker left that jumper just short. Rebound came out to Jackson Foster working up the near sideline. So you can see what Coach Powell wanted to do there. He wanted to get the ball inside to Billy, and it didn't happen on the block, but that's his intent to go inside. Shot affected there by Billy Burke. The outlet comes back the other way. Scoop shot off the mark as Parker hits the deck. After the foul committed by Jackson Foster, his first. 
And we'll get some Lee's famous recipe free throws here for Carson Parker. First two free throws of the night here for LCC. First free throw attempt is off the mark. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Second free throw attempt up and good, making it 36-12. to 12. First point of the night for this, Parker. And this game's an uphill battle for bad, but both teams can learn a lot about themselves here in the last... You know, 16 minutes of the game. We're going to that far block. Give to Markley. He'll put up a contested three. Won't go. Rebound to Burke. Parker pushing the tempo for just a brief moment. Cross court pass to Quatman. Pretty thought about the contested three. Will take a step back jumper. Got it. What's really impressive about him is his footwork, too, Garrett. He, he really does a good job of getting everything organized. And he's always on balance, which is what has made him really effective now. I'm not sure he'll shoot this good all year long, but tonight it's been phenomenal. It's a clinic. On the far side. Straight away to Markley. Kicks to the near side. To Welsh. Quatman trying to make him go left. Does. Off the heel. Foul on the rebound. And you can tell LCC is very well coached. Coach Powell's done a great job coming in, you know, taking over after two legends at, at LCC. Yeah, absolutely. And their hands are active. They're always high. They had a great box out there. They've really done a good job of adjusting to a new coach. And they really know what they want to do when they have the basketball in their hands. There's not really any hesitation. It's pretty. Let's that one fly. That might be the first miss of the night for that, him. That was a heat check shot right there. He's got 23, I think. You're allowed a heat check at that point. It's Absolutely. Bath works on the right side. Guarded by Collins. Hands off to Jackson Foster with 5.45 to go on the Charles River scoreboard. And yeah. Bath is just trying to find a way now to get open looks. That one not open. Doesn't matter to Jackson Foster. He lets it fly and hits the triple try. He's got seven of their 15. And he's their leading scorer. And he's got to do that for them to be effective this year. Collins. Isolated. Comes to the near side. Parker gives to Burke. Far corner three, rim down on him, rebound, ripped down by Brennan Ryan. Wildcats will angle back to the top of the key. Hand off. Welsh gives to Foster with seven of the 15, averages 14 a night for the Wildcats. A floater in the lane, tear dropped in by Crawford, his bucket. Great job getting into the heart of the defense and making a tough shot there for Bath. Trey Crawford. Three on away from Parker. No. Rebound ripped down by Brennan Ryan. Oh, he threw it off a teammate. Two on one back the other way. Parker, the jam. Kind of came out of nowhere there. He it took did. one step and threw it down. and. Climb the ladder and hammer it home. Make it 41-17 T-Birds. Welsh near side. Foster fade away. No. Burke the rebound. Nearly had it ripped away from him. Parker pulling back the other way. Left wing. Fires to Pretty near quarter. Had to climb the ladder just to get it. Collins with his back to the basket. He's calling for the charge. That is the second foul committed by Angelo Collins tonight, the 6'5 junior. And LCC subs with the Fosters, and they get a little smaller, but they get a lot quicker. Yeah, that's, we, generally you're thinking, okay, they're going to go to the bench. M maybe not what you want if you're, you're hoping to slow things down if you're bad. They really have seven or eight starters in their team, and, and you can tell early on they're trying to f figure each other out. Pretty's new, some of those things, but... It's impressive when they saw it. They, they really do a good job. And Burke's been incredible on the board tonight. Jackson Foster for three. No. Damar Foster, the rebound. He'll race up the near sideline. Cross court pass to Willie Foster. Lobs to Collins. In the lane. Turn around, right hand hook shot. Good. And Collins has really played his role well tonight, too, as well. 
comes out to guard straight away as Trey Crawford works to the high left point. Working on the far side. Bath trailing 43-17. Straight away comes to the near side, Jesko. Kicks top of the key. In the high post, bounce pass right back to Trey Crawford, who's got four points. And that was a great possession by Bath. And they got the shot they wanted, an easy one. Pretty quickly rims out on the triple trot. Rebound ripped down by Logan Markley. And he's been human here. He's missed a couple shots in a row. Was feeling it. 23. Now ice cold back-to-back -back misses. You know, that's that's a bad bad time and bad stretch of the game for you. You're having a pretty good night as the Wildcats lob down low. Jackson Foster, first attempt, no, got his own rebound, fouled. And it's going to shoot two least famous recipe free throws. And Foster did a really good job there. He was frustrated. He was post up a smaller player. He missed that first shot, but stayed with it, got to the free throw line here. So Foster, the 77% free throw shooter, steps back to the line. And the first least famous recipe free throw attempt, nothing but net for the 6'2 junior. Foster averages 14 points a night, sitting on at eight here in the third quarter. 2.30 to go on the Charles River scoreboard. It's the second free throw attempt rims out on him. Damar Foster the board. He'll go straight to the bucket in the lane. Left hand floater, no. Rebound pulled down by Markley. As Welsh works to the left point near side. Jesko bounces down low to Jackson Foster. Turnaround jumper, yes. <laughs> Ten on the night for Foster. And a great job seeing the height mismatch inside. Billy Burke straight to the window. Gets his first basket. Great pass there by Foster. Wildcats back quickly the other way. Welsh knocks down a three. Burke gives to Parker left wing. Tamar Foster straight away. Left it short, long rebound. Goes into the far corner where it's picked up by Trey Crawford. And Bath has had three great possessions in a row here. And see if they can string them together another one. Working on the right wing, Crawford bounces to the far side. Down the lane, bounce back to Foster straight away. Markley gives to Welsh. He'll throw straight away. Jessica thought about the very deep three, and now we'll regroup, working against Parker. Markley, left wing, high post, lost possession, and a foul committed by the T-Birds. Their third of the quarter, with just over a minute to go. And neither team is in danger right now getting the bonus, so both teams can be aggressive to finish the quarter. But Bath has done a much better job here recently of getting the ball side, middle side. When the ball moves, the defense has to move, and it's been a lot uh, harder for LCC to contest those shots. And, and so credit to Bath for, for to, to fight this quarter. To, it, it was almost running clock time. Yeah, no, Bath had 12 points at the half, 25 points here as we hit the waning stages of the third quarter. A three on the way from Mosley, splashed home. Joe Mosley's first basket. And they executed the out-of-bounds play perfectly. Got a great screen and shot. Willie Foster straight to the window, up and good. That was a different kind of crossover there. That was uh, quick. He's got 10. Jackson Foster. Bounces to Markley. Jumpers up and good. The 6'4 sophomore now with five points. As Burke handles on the right wing. Hands off to Parker Judy, throws to DeMar Foster. Working the left rail, and a foul committed by Bath. Their third of the quarter with 20 seconds to go. That was a great foul because that was going to be a layup or an easy shot on the backside. And that's when you got to do some fouling here at the end of quarters. I think that's part of the strategy that's going to happen with this 
different kind of bonus mm -hmm. for the players. Foster will inbound baseline left, throws in to Burke, left elbow. Hands off, Judy to Foster, crosses over. Lost the dribble, scooped up by Bath. Burke hits the deck at the center stripe. Willie Foster near corner three, rimmed out on him. Rebound ripped down by Brennan Ryan. Wildcats dribble out the rest of the quarter and will go to the fourth. Charles River scoreboard reads 47-30. LCC with the advantage over Bath here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. And that fourth quarter begins with the Charles River scoreboard reading 47 to 30. LCC with the advantage. Bath with the basketball with the fourth quarter getting underway. I'm Garrett C. Right alongside Mark Bagley. Jump stop by Joe Mosley on the right side of the lane. Thrown back to Eli Jesko. Jackson Foster crosses over at the free throw line, picks up the dribble. But Trey Crawford working back to Mosley. He'll back it back out towards the midcourt stripe. Thrown to the far side. Chesco hands back off to Mosley, crosses over, creates a little space for three. No, too strong. Rebound secured by Trey Crawford. Into the far corner, another three by Jesco. No, rebound pulled down by Foster. He wants to run just a little bit. He'll rise and fire from three. Off the mark, the board to Brennan Ryan. And you gotta love how Bath finished that third quarter and how they started this fourth quarter. Their, their effort's been outstanding. Absolutely. They haven't given up. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Is a three on away, a little strong. Rebound nearly ripped down by Jackson Foster. Long outlet pass to Willie Foster. He'll go to the window, laying up and in. And when you have big reads like LCC did, they got a little complacent. They started jacking up threes, and that was a good basket for them to get back into, into a little rhythm yeah, offensively. Just attacking the rim. That's a Wildcats. Foul committed. An offensive foul committed by Brennan Ryan. His second. And Billy Burke for LCC, it, it appears he's been playing here for like six years. <laughs> has done a great job of controlling the inside, and uh, he's getting a breather right now. But his effort level to go get rebound and do all the dirty work for them is outstanding. That's what's going to make them a really good team this year if he can do those things inside. Wildcats bring in, or I beg your pardon, T-Birds bring in Malachi Talbert in the game. As pretty, will let one fly. No. Rebound still loose, secured by the Wildcats. Pretty with 23 points on the evening. 20 of them coming in the first half. And I think he had 18 before he missed. On the far side, bouncing to Clark. Turns to the near side. Ryan, I beg your pardon, to Welsh for three. No. Rebound ripped down by Ryan. Another triple try. That one up and good for Jesco. And when LCC goes smaller, that's going to be their thing this year. They have to rebound the basketball. They didn't there and give up a three off the offensive rebound. Parker lets a triple fly. Rebound to Pretty off the window. He'll get back in the scoring column with 25 now on the night. Right place, right time. He's been there most of the night tonight. Under five and a half to go on the Charles River scoreboard. 51-33 the score. And off. To Crawford, into the post, kicks back to Welsh, near corner. Foster thought about trying to poke that free. Thought better of it. Chesco in the paint, lets it fly. Left it short, as it was affected. Talbert the board. Up the far side, Willie Foster rises and fires for three. Left it short, rebound secured by Logan Markley. Turned over, right back to the window by Foster's up and good. And that's what, what Foster did there. It was, a, it was a tough shot on the three, and he comes right back and gets a, gets a steal and a layup. And that's a high-energy player there. 
Get a Metzger Financial Services timeout taken by Bath. We'll step aside as well. 53-33, LCC the lead here in the fourth on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 4.35 to go here in the fourth. 20-point advantage for LCC. Back with the basketball. Lots of subs in for LCC now. Wildcats. Drew Peaster guarding the basketball now. The top of the key to the near side. Trey Crawford works to the free throw line. Fires up the floater off the heel. Rebound loose and will stay with the Wildcats as Angelo Collins hit the deck. You see good sportsmanship there by Brennan Ryan helping him off the hardwood. They give Bath a lot of credit this half. They really battled and fought and hung in there when it could have been a 30 or worse Absolutely. type of game. Inbound to Jackson Foster, stripped as he went to the window. It's scooped up by the T-Birds. Quatman into the far corner. Straight away, back to Quatman. He'll have his back to the basket. Near side to Collins. Goes to the right block, throws up a tough shot, can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound, throws it off a Wildcat. It'll stay with LCC. Three fifty-five to go. As a coach, the last four minutes of this game, and, and, and LCC is going to win. You, both teams are just looking for effort, mm -hmm. making the effort plays, hustle, those kind of things. Collins lets one fly from the right elbow, dropped it home. He's had a nice game tonight. He's yep. done a lot of little things well. Three forty to go on the Charles River scoreboard. Markley, left wing. Gives to Crawford, gets a screen, works to the free throw line. Nearly double teamed as Markley lets it fly. Rebound ripped down by Peaster. The Collins straight away, free throw line, picked up the dribble. Tries to lean in instead, throws to Quatman left side. He'll put up a three, yes. And he's a really good standstill shooter. He just made one there. And LCC is, is extending the lead again. Quatman's first bucket of the night. As Jackson Foster works to the right block. Fade away. Left it short and a charge called against Foster. His second of the night. With that foul, we'll step aside. 2.52 to go here in the fourth on WLSN. Two forty to go here in the fourth quarter. As Peaster tries to bounce into the far corner, it's intercepted by Bath. So Wildcats hanging tough. Clark throws to the far side, pump fake, free throw line jumper too strong. As a rebound put back up by Welsh, he's fouled, and he looks like he's going to shoot two Lee's famous recipe free throws. As the foul goes against Drew Peaster. So Welsh at the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Leaves the first one short. Get some substitutions. 2.16 to go. As Welsh with six points on an evening. Average is just one, so a nice night for the six-foot sophomore. Now with seven after the main Lee's Famous Recipe free throw. 58-34, the score on the Charles River scoreboard as Parker Judy will let one fly. Got it to go. And that's really hard to defend. Lots of teams are doing that dribble handoff, and if you don't switch that or hedge out, open shots happen quite a bit, and Judy knocked down that three. Clark on the right side. Hands off. We have under two minutes to go. Ball nearly poked away into the backcourt. Ball is loose. It's scooped up. Finally secured by Bath, working across the timeline near side. 
And coaches love this. A minute and a half to go, and people are diving on the floor. That's what high school basketball in Northwest Ohio is all about. Get a foul. Stoppage in play. We'll step aside as well. 61-34 the score with just over 90 seconds to go. Here in the fourth on WOSN. Out of the timeout. Bath working near side with the basketball. Mosley tightly guarded. Kicks into the far wing. Three on the way. Splashed home by Eli Jesko. His second triple of the night. As Quatman holds on the right side. Other thing that happens during this time, uh, Garrett, is that the holiday season's here and practice schedules become a lot different mm -hmm. with school out. And the teams that handle that the best this time of year are the ones that play really well over the Christmas holiday. Hey, you get that disjointed, you know, because you get in a rhythm of you go to school, you have practice after school, or you get in your rhythm of practice and then you get to Christmas, and that just gets more, especially depending on what day Christmas falls on. If you know if you get it on a Sunday that you're not usually practicing, not that big of a deal, but you get a Monday and uh, can. And some schools, you know, have a game or two during that Christmas slash New Year's break, and others don't play at all as a triple try goes down for Joe Mosley, his second. It's all those little things that get people ready for January, and that's when when things really become jointed together uh, as far as basketball, because all the football teams are now ready to play. Absolutely. To the near side, Welsh hands off a floater, up and good for Logan Markley. Give Markley seven points on the evening. And, and Bath had, what, 12 points at halftime? Yeah. And have had a 30-point uh, set half. So lots of things to build on for Bath here. And a great night for LCC. T-Birds will dribble out the clock, and they will grab a 61-42 victory tonight. Over the Bath Wildcats, it is the first official road game of the Season for LCC, played two games at Elida during the tip-off classic and got a home victory over Allen East last week. And moved to 4-0 and oh with the victory tonight over the Bath Wildcats. Bath falls to 0-5. Oh Mark, final thoughts here tonight. I think both teams have a lot to build on. LC's first half of the clinic. For this time of the year, this early, they played really well. Um, they shot really well. A lot of players on their bench. For Bath, their second half allows them to build on things. They haven't won yet this year, but at the end of the Christmas season, um, some things to, to build on, and they have a lot of things to work on as well. But and overall, for a Tuesday night game early on, I thought both teams competed really hard, and, and LCC was just a better team. LCC back in action on Friday. They'll host the Van Wert Cougars, while Bath will travel to Delphi St. John's on Saturday night. So each team will get another game in before the Christmas holiday. So that will do it from us here at Bath. The final score, the final time, LCC victorious tonight, 61-42 to on the Charles River scoreboard. For our entire WOSA crew and Mark Bagley, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long, and we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.